hey guys welcome to the scholar online youtube channel the channel that is all about learning i'm very happy to be back with you guys here again today on a whole brand new tutorial series okay so as you can see we are on the meta developers for facebook website so we're gonna be doing a tutorial series that has got something to do with facebook development and it's something interesting close to my heart something that i've been working on for a couple of months now and i thought let me do a tutorial series about it because i think it's going to add a whole lot of value to the guys that are watching my channel i know i get all of your love all of your feedback please do not stop leaving me your comments because it's encouraging i know i do a lot of very useful stuff and i do it for free but it's very very encouraging when i get your comments and your feedback and you tell me about how useful this is for you and how much you know this is helping you i really really appreciate that and do not stop leaving your comments because your comments do a lot in helping our channel getting you know get more sort of visibility and discoverable by more people who can also benefit as you have benefited okay so again remember to like this video go into the description get all the links if you want to get in touch with me my email address is going to be in there social media all sorts of things and um remember to like again and remember to subscribe to this channel so that you'll be notified every time i release a new video okay so what is our new tutorial series about as you can see i'm on the meta web page right meta the old facebook the new meta all right what we're going to be doing going forward is we're going to build a whatsapp application yes so for the longest time the whatsapp api has been under a cloak and dagger and it's been like sort of like you know a secret and nobody could get access to it and you had to get through multiple you know uh you know middlemen and you know i mean it was such a struggle to get anything done with whatsapp all right but uh, facebook have released this and i don't know whether it's a soft launch or whatever because it's not really communicated but I've, i just fell on it the other day and i was able to build something on it and i thought i'm going to show you guys how to do this as usual on this channel i really really try my best to produce videos and make videos that are really useful to you so when you learn something on this channel this is something you're going to be able to take and build something useful out of it and i don't just make videos for the sake of making videos i make videos that are useful and that you can take out and you can do something really great with it so i'm going to be taking you through the whatsapp api yes we're going to be going through the whatsapp api and we're going to be building interesting whatsapp applications where you can actually connect to people via whatsapp interface and this is really really useful because everybody's got whatsapp right everybody's got whatsapp and this is um uh, you know i'm always like trying to be on the front end of technology as i was trying to do that with open ai i'm trying to do that with whatsapp as well because this is something that's new all right um there isn't a whole lot of WhatsApp application out there except for if you're gonna be working through a middleman all right so if you can learn and master this today you can be on the forefront of building something amazing that is gonna be first in the industry trust me on this one okay so to get started obviously you need a facebook account so one of the pre requisites of this of course is that you need to have a facebook account so go and open yourself a facebook account very very easy just go to facebook.com and open a facebook account once you've done that then go to this link developers.facebook.com if you've watched my videos in the past i've done a lot of whatsapp apps before i uh, not whatsapp apps uh, facebook apps before i've done uh facebook um you know e-commerce i've done facebook you know chat you know the um, what you call it the messenger thing you know i've done a lot of facebook apps in the past but i've always wanted to do the facebook whatsapp all right so today we're gonna get onto it so if you go to developers at facebook.com just click on it and if you're already logged into facebook you will see over here my apps and everything and i think if you're not logged in it will ask you to log in okay so make sure you have a facebook account then you can just easily log in this is not restricted or anything like that just go and log in once you logged in go to my apps all right and as you can see over here i already got a lot of whatsapp applic i mean facebook applications going all right i've got like i've created multiple over the years and most of them still active in some of the stuff that i'm doing but today we're going to create a brand new application which we're going to be using not any of the old ones all right and i'm going to show you how to create a 
an application that is going to be used specifically for WhatsApp and how the WhatsApp sort of API works. All right. Now the documentation is available over here, developers of facebook.com slash docs slash WhatsApp. All right. I will also link this in the description of the video that you're watching right now. You can read the documentation over there. And once you're done with that, I'll also link this other one, which is the quick start. All right. Which is the same. Actually, it's the same documentation site, but you just sort of click over there to get started. And then it gives you nice, good instructions of how to actually get started. And so I don't know, there's two ways of doing this. I could be going through the documentation step by step, or I could just sort of wing it, which is what I normally do. And then when I get stuck, I'll go back to the documentation. All right. So when I'm, once I'm here, what do I need to do? According to the documentation is, um, I need to register as a developer to register the developer obviously is just to go on to this developers facebook.com and register an account that's it then you're registered as a developer then you need to enable two-factor authentication on your account so this is something else you need to go back to your facebook account this is your facebook account and when you log into facebook you need to make sure you've got two-factor authentication so they don't allow you to continue with apps I think if you don't have 2FA, this is just to protect you because you know Facebook hacking is very, very strife these days. There's a lot of Facebook hacking for whatever reason, but the last thing you want is to have an actual application that's running and then somebody hacks your Facebook and then hacks your application, all right? So do enable that 2FA. I'm, you want to do this off, off camera. I'm, uh, I'm going to let you do it. It's easy. If you don't know, just Google it, Stack Overflow it. And once you've done all of that, the last step is then to create a meta app. Okay. So you're going to go to developers, Facebook, go to my apps and create an app and it must be a business type. And then we're going to follow the prompts on the screen. Okay. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to go to create app. This is where we are. And what type of an app it is, is a business app that we must create. Okay. So once we've done that, let us then go next and then we're going to give it an app name. What are we going to call this application? We want to call it, we want to call it. Okay. I've got a domain that I'm going to use for this. And then I'm going to call this uh, bitcoins. Actually, let's not call it bitcoins. Um, I've already got an, an app that's called Scolo. Um, I've already gotten an app that, um, is called, uh, Carabo. I'm just looking because, um, I know we're going to, I'm just going to be teaching you the basics of the WhatsApp chat, but perhaps let's think about something useful that we're going to be doing to actually build this thing so that, um, at the end of the day, I don't know, let's do like a, like a CV builder, a CV generator. All right. Because I've been trying to get something like this. Oh, no, actually, no. I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do a business plan. We're going to do a business plan a generator application, all right? So let me get my notes up and going, all right? All right. So I'm going to open a new page over here. And I'm going to call this. This is the app we're going to build, okay? It's going to be called a business plan generator. All right. This is going to be an application that can generate a, 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 uh, a business plan. Okay. From, um, user prompts on WhatsApp. All right. And what's going to happen is a user. Okay. So the user journey is going to be like a user can just, you know, enter their business name what the business does and other thing like that, right? And then we're going to just take all of that information. Again, we love our open AI. So we're going to use open AI to, um, to generate content. Okay. For the business plan. Okay. And then we're going to uh, uh, create the actual document create the document in, um, um, PDF, right? We're going to create the document in PDF. We're going to WhatsApp back the link to the user to download the document. We have created. So I think this is going to be a lovely application, guys. I think I'm excited about this. All right. So number one is that the most important thing is that the user only interfaces with our app through WhatsApp. 
so this is not a web application or anything like that there's no https blah 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 they're gonna go to their whatsapp they're gonna they're gonna have a number it's gonna be a number called generate your business plan all right they're gonna send a message to that number we're gonna get all of their information we're gonna ask them all sorts of questions that we need for our prompts and then once we get that we're gonna take all of that information we're gonna put it into a open ai t a text generator and we're gonna generate an entire business plan document and then we're gonna take that document and create it and save it in pdf and then we're gonna whatsapp the link back to the person and the person can just download that so imagine people are looking for business plans and they can just whatsapp your number and and this is a i'm, I'm, I'm just i just thought out of this thought about this straight from my head because i had a client who wanted to do something like this in the past and I remember I gave them a quotation for it and they never got back to me. <laughs> so I'm going to build it on what on, on, on YouTube. And the next time they come back to me, I'll just uh, I'll just sort of direct them to this video and they can uh, they can just build it themselves. But this is a use case that you can do for many, many things. Another thing I can think about um, that you can do this for here is um, uh, building a, a CV, you know, like a resume. Right. Because bu building resumes is one of the most useful you know, most important things that uh, people, um, you know, people want to do, like, you know, um, you get people all the time looking for jobs and they don't have professional resumes. And some of them don't have professional resumes because they can't get access to a computer or a, you know, um, they can't log in and they don't have Microsoft Word to type a nice, they don't have templates, you know, they don't have nice looking professional, uh, you know, uh, resume, you know, uh, types. And imagine you could just like, uh, have a WhatsApp interface and all they have to do is to give them they have to give you things like oh your name your last name your ID number why what what work experience you've got you can just ask them the questions and they give that input back to you and you generate it in a template and then you just send it back to them their CV and maybe you charge them I don't know two dollars per CV one dollar per resume I mean once you build this program it's up and running you could charge them anything um for you for them to produce it and if you get enough volumes you could make quite a bit of money on this so i'm just giving you a couple of use cases i can think already a resume builder i can think i'm going to do a business plan builder specifically but you could do anything with this you could really do anything with this so this is exactly what we are going to be building all right so this is basically the user journey that i'm taking it through and um once we've done that i think let's go back to the first uh slide which was tell you, telling you about the prerequisites the kind of things you need to have in place to continue with this application you need a facebook account first of all we've already covered that you need a business profile you need a virtual server okay we'll get through this later but i'll show you how to get this okay you can get a virtual server and i'll put a link in the description below where you can get a virtual server on digital ocean all right and i must um make the you know what is it the disclaimer that the link is a, an affiliate link of course so you can click on it you'll get a discount when you use that link so you will get cheaper you'll get like i think um, I can't remember how much you get for free. I think it's like the first two months or so you get like some free credits if you use the link. Unlike if you went to Digital Ocean yourself and you just bought a, 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 a droplet, you would be paying from day one. All right. But with this, you can get it for like two months so you can test it out and you can cancel any time before that. If you don't like it, um, then you won't get charged because you'll be using your free credits until you actually start paying for it. If it really is benefiting you over time. All right. So I'll give you that link. In the description below and obviously i only get paid if you stick with digital ocean for more than two months once you've used your free credits and it's not even a lot of money that we get paid so but nonetheless i'll get something so that is the the disclaimer there and then um you need a domain where we're gonna put this website even though we're not actually building a web application right um, the domain is for a couple of reasons because uh, the whatsapp api needs to communicate with um, an online sort of server that is uh, served over HTTPS, all right? So it needs to be served over a secure HTTP, right? Which is HTTPS. And for us to be able to do that, we need to actually deploy our application over HTTPS. So we need a domain name, all right? But we, were, we are not building a website, okay? So this is not gonna be a website. There won't be any way that people can land and say this is a website. This is, we are building a WhatsApp application that's gonna be on Django. So so this is like never been done on youtube guys if you're watching this video i'm showing you shit that nobody is teaching all right and um you can actually build applications that you can make 
money out of it this is real life cases that i'm showing you here today so be very glad to have discovered my channel okay and you're welcome the last thing obviously is we're going to be using Django for this. Django is my favorite web development framework. If you're new to this channel, well, you would, um, you're going to learn over time that I just love Django. I've been, I used to do, I mean, in, if I give you my history of my development journey, I started with mobile applications. You believe it or not. Right. So the first things I used to develop when I first started learning programming was mobile apps. I did mobile apps. Then I started doing a whole lot of the JavaScript apps, you know, so your reacts and your view. Actually, I was a view person. I used to do so much development on view. And then I discovered, um, you know, Flask, then I was like, well, this makes more sense, right? Because I am, you know, I'm, I'm sort of a logical person and I understood the server side of things and, 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 and developing that way. And it just made sense. So I, I did a lot of Flask development for a long time until I decided to jump over to Django and then I never, ever looked back. All right. So if you're looking to do anything that is really worthy, you know, Django is a future guys. I mean, if I can tell you the number of applications today, the best apps in the world, everything from Spotify to Instagram to YouTube that you're watching right now is all running on Django. You wouldn't believe it. I mean, Django is like, once you learn Django, there is no need to ever build on anything else because Django just has everything covered. All right. So, uh, let me stop singing Django praises and let's get back to work. Um, so now that we know what we're building, now we can give it a name. Okay. So we're going to call this a business plan, business plan dot IO. All right. Business plan dot IO. I'm actually going to look and check if this, uh, domain is available. All right. So if I say business, if I go to domains, okay, I can't, I can't buy this from domains. Because uh, domains doesn't have um, .io, because um, I want to use .io for you know for, for for artificial intelligence and stuff like that. You know when you have a .io domain, you sort of sound a bit smarter, all right? So let's let's try and look for business plan. Business plan .io. Search. I swear, if I find it, I'm going to buy it right now. <laughs> if it has not been taken. Oh no. Oh no. So business plan dot IO has been taken, but business plan dot AI is available. But for $69 per year, let me have a look at that. I'm going to pull on my calculator. I'm pulling on my calculator in the background. Okay. Because I deal in South African rent and I have to sort of remind myself how much is $69. All right. So $69, if I run that off to $70 and I multiply by the exchange rate, which is about 18, that's about 1,200 Rand. I think I'm definitely securing this one. Business plan dot AI. I'm adding you to card and I'm buying you right now. $1,200. I can deal with that. So this is the domain we'll use in the end. Okay. We'll change this later. So check out, let's check out. No, 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 no. Why am I paying 136? Cause two years kind of they get this one year. So you have to do two years at upfront. Oh no. So let's calculate that again. So now I'm going to be paying 139, $140 times 18. <gasps> That's quite a bit of money. I don't know if I want to pay that. That's a lot of money. Okay. Let's go back. Let's see if there's another domain here. Uh, business plan .io, let's search for that. Um, why must I pay two years in, in advance? This is not cool. Business plan .app. Mm. But you know, when you say IO, people just, you know, you just sound smarter, you just sound smarter. You know, IO just sounds smarter, but do you think there's a lot of, you know, it's quite an investment to make. Hey, um, I must think about this. All right. I must think about this. Dot IO is taken out of love. Dot IO, honestly speaking, dot AI is just as good, but it's quite expensive. Dot GG, dot XYZ, dot Dev. Hmm. This is a bit more in my price range, but you know, then again, somebody will buy dot AI and then I won't have it. But dot AI is very, very obviously talking to artificial intelligence which is exactly what i'm trying to do here to say 
that we're building and okay let's just check out let's just let's just you know we'll cry later you know and hopefully we'll make lots of money it'll pay itself back so i'm gonna call this business plan and then the contact email i want to keep that and then you do need to have a business account but i think that's optional so i'm gonna leave this open i've got a couple of business accounts here i'm gonna just um leave it blank and see what happens create app okay i need to put in my uh password for my facebook account which i do not remember <laughs> luckily my brother remembers it for me um because i hardly ever have to put it in i mean i've put it in once and i i honestly don't know my facebook account all right cool so now that that's done i think what we need to add to the app is whatsapp okay so we're gonna look for it and there it is integrate with whatsapp so let's set it up there you go so um you can see over there the moment you integrate with whatsapp it asks you to create or select a meta business account so you do need a business account, which is what I did say in my prerequisites. So you can't get away from it. Definitely for the WhatsApp, you need that. So um, let's see. I do have a couple of accounts already. I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, that is software because this is like, this is a company I own. And I think it's already verified. I can't remember, but let's select that one. Then once we've done that, then what happens is quite interesting. Um, and Facebook is really, I really have to commend them for this because I've dealt with the Facebook API before. I've done a lot of my videos of their of, of videos on my channel where I'm taking you through the Facebook API for whatever, you know, like I've done the Facebook API for automating your Facebook posts, automating your Instagram posts. I've done, um, you know, the, you know, the messenger API. And I'm telling you, the WhatsApp API is by far the most easiest, sort of like just the most straightforward API, even in the way they take you through the process, the customer journey, when they take you through how to work with it, it's just streamlined. Everything is in one place. You click this, it takes you to the next page and everything is just right there. And then it just works. And it's beautiful. Trust me on this one. Like I've done this with many many facebook apis i must give them a recommendation for how well they've done their whatsapp api i really i i appreciated how easy it was working with this okay so once you've done all of that immediately you're taken to this page all right i'll take you through what is happening on this page at the very top you see here you got a temporary access token this is very very important because to talk to the whatsapp api you're going to need the access token and then um, you'll see over there, it expires in 23 hours because it's a temporary access token. It's only valid for 24 hours, which means even if you build anything with it, every 24 hours, you have to refresh it, okay? For you to get a permanent access token, you need to give them an actual phone number because what? They're gonna give you a test number and that is a test number that's gonna work with this token. So later on, what I'll do is that I'll just go get a SIM card and get an actual phone number and it's very easy to just then input your phone number and then get a permanent token and then once you get a permanent token boom that's it it just always works okay and one thing about the whatsapp api as well that i must mention is that there comes a point where you gotta pay all right i think maybe that's why like it's free free ish it's sort of like like your google firebase type thing right like it's free to start working with and developing with it but the moment you actually start having actual volumes of messages through it you're gonna start paying because they actually just want to get you in so they can get your money right but that's okay because i think the value that they provide is definitely worth paying for so i don't mind paying for it in the end but what i like is that you can start choosing it like you get a decent amount of messages for free before you have to start paying for it then after that, um, then you've got this nice curl post, which just like shows you very quickly how you can just immediately start sending a message. And the reason why I say 
that i just love the way they've done the whatsapp api the call post they produce for you over here it's got the urls got the authorization already the token they've already like sort of entered everything in here you could basically literally copy and paste this and run it on call and it would work because the app number over there which is that phone id and the business account has already been put in the urls for you so this is why i say that the whatsapp api is like for me compared to all the other facebook apis they've done th themselves um some justice this time all right so i'm gonna go and look for postman right and postman uh i'm just gonna look for like uh, i was doing some other stuff in here so i'm gonna just look for a blank postman because i was doing a lot of other things in here cloud mailing sage blah blah all sorts of things so i'm gonna look for postman and then i'm gonna go back over there and then i'm gonna just try and build this inside of postman okay exactly how this is so the first thing that you need is the url and it is a post request as you can see it's a curl post request so we're gonna copy this right and we're gonna put it on a on a post request so this should be post and we're gonna put that in there all right then once we've done that um remember that number over here that one one zero eight six one blah blah this number is actually your um phone number id so it's very very important that you save this because the url in future because we're going to build this in django over time of course so we're going to need to know how to build the url inside of django so the most important thing is obviously that phone number id hence when you do manage to change your your phone number later on to get a more permanent token uh, which i will take you through that process later on um you will then um you know get a different phone number id and you know you, you know in your settings you could just replace a phone number id for example okay then um there's some headers over here so the the first header is is authorization bearer all of this okay so we're gonna go into the headers all right and we're gonna create a new um, um header that's no headers and um i think it's authorization yeah it's authorization and then we need to say bearer and this whole number right so you need to copy the whole uh, bear everything that's inside of the of that i hope that's that's it um so i'm gonna paste all of that in there and i'll show you this eag water water number that ends with an any x at the end this is the same number that you would get here so if you copied that access token this is actually the number that goes in there so let me see where i can paste this that you can see what i mean okay raw let me just paste it in here you can see this number over here that e a g g and it ends with an any x at the end that's the same number that's actually over here all right so they've just um created a call request for you where they already put in the bearer for you the only thing you have to remember is to put bearer in front of it okay so when it comes to the headers you just have to remember to say bearer and then you put that um, so this number that goes over here is your access token, which is the one that is expiring in 23 hours. Then after that, the content type is JSON, which is fine. Inside of Postman, what you can do, you can just say body. Instead of raw, you can say text. You can say raw, yes. And then and instead of text, you can change it to JSON. And then it allows you to enter JSON. And then you can now put in this whole JSON body, which is what's inside here all right this is the one okay so you can come in there and paste that in there so this is now the json body that we're going to send all right it's a whatsapp uh messaging product okay it's uh two all right um type is a template and then the template has got a name called hello world and um some other stuff in there so this is the basic you know um stuff that you're gonna um put in there all right so what you can also do there is that you can select a phone number to send this message to and especially when you are um, when you're still under testing you have to actually like enter your phone number manually like you can't just send it to any phone number because you're still sort of restricted because your application has not been approved and um like you're still sort of like um i don't know you're restricted in a way you can't just send to anybody 
they don't want you to just come in here get a free token and start you know blasting people with whatsapp messages so what you need to do here to select a phone number um, I'm going to enter the phone number, which I have entered here before because I've used this in the past. This is my phone number, but you can say here and say manage phone number list and it will allow you to enter any phone number you want to send the message to. And when you pick that phone number, I think they send a message to that number to ask for permission to say, um, you know, to like get an opt in of sorts, you know, like, hey, do you accept that you're going to be used uh, here like a tester, blah, blah, blah. And then you just have to say yes okay accept uh because obviously you 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 you're coming in as a tester but you can only then during this um using this uh testing account you can only then only send uh to the numbers which have been pre entered inside of your application ahead of time but when you manage to get your app approved later on and the approval process is actually like <laughs> the easiest it's not even an approval it's like you just enter your new phone number you get a business account you have to obviously start enter a payment method some stuff because they're gonna start charging you for it very very simple and then you can just like boom get started all right so now you'll see that WhatsApp 2 has changed. All right. So I'm going to copy what's in there, WhatsApp 2. And this is my phone number, right? So I'm going to just like enter it in there. All right. And then um, um, don't spam me with messages now. If you see my phone number here. All right. Uh, maybe I, will, I must delete it in the video at the end before I publish it online. But what you can do now is you can... Uh, um send okay and i'm gonna test it now i'm gonna just send and see what happens there you go and do you did you see that didn't did you hear that didn't that's actually my whatsapp going off all right i'm gonna try and go i, I don't want to go to it because you'll see my other whatsapp stuff but i'm gonna open my whatsapp from my phone right now and then i will take a screenshot of it and i will show you show it on the video all right and i will show you exactly um, what was sent to me right now. Okay, I'm gonna show it. It's showing now on your screen next to it. Uh, welcome and congratulations. Congratulations. This message demonstrates your ability to send a message notification from WhatsApp Business Cloud API. Thank you for taking the time to test with us because it's a template. All right. So now we're gonna move on from a template and we're gonna send an actual WhatsApp message. All right. Where we're gonna type exactly what it is we wanna type in the WhatsApp message, and then I'm gonna show you later on how to do that. And then oh, we're gonna take it from there. And then later on, we're gonna think around how to then build all of this inside of our Django application. Okay. So you can now edit the message uh, payload to look like this. If you wanna send your own personalized message that is not fitting into a template, because what they give you over here is um, a template. All right. And you can create your own WhatsApp templates, by the way. All right. So you can create your own WhatsApp templates, which need to get approved ahead of time. And then when you want to send a, um, I don't know, like a cold message. So somebody hasn't responded, hasn't talked to you before. You just sending them a message directly from your WhatsApp application to them. You need to use a template and it needs to be an approved template then that message goes through but when you want to send a message that is personalized like what i'm trying to send over here how about a more personalized message for example this one um is not a template as you can see there's no template that we're using there's no template type there's no hello template that we're using it's just a personalized message for you to do this somebody has to the person you have sent the template message to must respond to you then in response to you then you can respond to them so if they message you first then you can send them any message you want that doesn't fit into a template so for our use case for example what we want to do is that our application the way it's going to be built we're not going to use any templates whatsoever we are, we are not going to be called messaging people all right people are going to message us first so we're going to have on our website, wherever our advertising, we're going to put our number out there and our WhatsApp number is going to be like this number that we're using or whatever number we end up, this is the test number for now, but we'll end up using a real phone number. And when we have, have a real phone number, we will request people that are interested in our service 
to please send a message to this number. So by default, they will message us first. And by messaging us first, then we are not restricted to using templates to talk into them. We can then send whatever message we want. So this, for example, I actually just tested it offline. I will put the picture of this as well right now on, on the screen. And you can see you click on it and then you can send this person an individual message and then you can type in that body whatever you want to type and with whatsapp it's limit unlimited you can write a whole paragraph okay you can write like a whole paragraph you can use normal you know um text editing like new lines all right to enter a paragraph all right if you put a new line like this it will then go into a new line and you can like put multiple new lines and you can actually even type something like a paragraph if you want and you can send it so there's a, like there's a, the limitations are completely endless all right so this covers how to send a message to someone using the whatsapp api of course we have to cover how to receive a message all right and and how to receive a message is a little bit more complicated and this is where we're gonna go into um what i told you earlier on that we need a domain with an ip address we need to actually deploy our application because we need to receive a web hook the messages are going to be sent via a web hook if somebody whatsapps us whatsapp is going to send us a web hook and we have to receive it you know what a web hook is it's like a a, a, a hook outside out there that is sitting on an http post on your application and people send messages to that http post and uh, whoever can send a message to that but we will be waiting to listen to messages that are sent from facebook so obviously we need a verification to make sure that we are getting the messages from the right place and then we accept that web hook and then we pull the message from that and then we work with it right so i'll take you through the process of doing that as well but before we can even get Get to this we need to then load our application online so obviously now what i've showed you here is just the simplest part of the application um and i'm going to take you through some of the documentation to just read some of the basic things that you need to understand um so that before you continue at this stage like i said some of these things are not free you might have to pay for it and understanding all of that all right so we've already covered this part which is to send a message. I've showed you how to send this a basic default message with a template. And I've also showed you how to send a message without a template. Remembering that to send a message without a template, the person has a message you back and then you can send them a message without a template. And then the next part step would be to configure a web hook. And I'm going to take you through configuring a web hook because it's very important. This is how you can receive messages from the API. Once you've done that, you can receive a message and then the next steps are very clear over here. You might want to now take your application into production and I said for you to do that, you need an actual phone number. You need to enter your own phone number, which will then be associated with your business. And I'll take you through the process of doing that as well. Okay, we're not going to be able to do everything in one week. So today we're just sort of covering the basics so you can understand what this application is going to be all about. All right. And then the pricing and the payment methods. This is now the real where the real deal comes in okay so the first thousand messages in a conversation every month are free okay which is what i was telling you earlier on that there is that sort of free beginning that you can start building you know and a thousand messages are more than enough for you to start building i think if you're sending more than a thousand messages you're probably making money and at that point you're going to start paying for using the api so this is not a completely free api this is not like the other facebook apis you know like posting on 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 your on your automating on facebook where everything is just provided for free okay this one is a api that you're gonna have to pay for which is okay i think it's really value because if you think about it even if you send messages from your actual phone you're either paying for data or you're paying for airtime, you know, so it, it, nothing is actually really free. So um, I don't think I have a problem with paying for this. Um, and I think the price is also reasonable. So you should use this for something that's going to make you money. All right. And then if you want to send messages, more messages, then you need to create templates and stuff like that. And that's really what's on the documentation. Okay. So I hope you guys are excited about what we're going to be building here today. Okay. So the next step is actually to create our Django application. All right. And I'm two minds about whether I should do this online right here in front of the camera because I've done this so many times in the past or whether I should just let you guys do this as your homework and then we'll continue next week with the working Django application. I think I'd rather do that. Okay. So I'm going to take you through our scholar online documentation. If you're new to this channel, I'm going to take you through this so that you can go over there and create your own Django application from scratch because everything is very, very clear how to do it. Okay. 
So if you go to scholar.online slash documents, you will come across our documentation website. And on our documentation website, if you click on Django, all right, and right at the beginning, there is, uh, you know, the rule that I have written whole documentation on how to set up uh, from scratch a, a digital, a, a droplet, number one, if you start reading over here, you can start to set up, you know, getting started with an Ubuntu droplet. So you can go to uh, Digital Ocean and I'll put the link in the description of the video, right? So um, you'll click on that link and it will take you to Digital Ocean and you can create your own droplet. And once you've done that, you can set up the droplet and there's lots of videos on my channel how to do that. Just Google search, set up a Digital Ocean droplet on my channel videos. You'll find a video showing how to do that. I think I cannot really do everything replicate everything on every video otherwise these videos will be way too long and they'll never end all right so i'll just sort of direct you to a video in the past where i've done this okay so there are two things you gotta do number one you gotta get yourself a droplet number two you gotta set it up properly watching some of the setup videos that i've got maybe i'll take you through my youtube channel right now so i can show you which video specifically you must go to to do that so that you don't get lost all right so i'm gonna go to my channel and on my channel, um, there's all my videos over here. And um, I think if you just search, you can search here because you know this is a YouTube search. It searches the whole of YouTube. But if you go to my uh, YouTube online school of videos, like my channel, you search for my channel specifically and you end up on this page and you search inside of their channel specifically alone. You can look for uh, Droplet. Okay, I think maybe rather search for droplet because that is a definitely going to be in the video name. All right. There's a couple of videos here. Um, the one that you're looking for is set up VPS. This one here, this 18 minute VPS tutorial for beginners, $5 digital ocean droplet setup. Okay. This is the video that you want. This video is going to take you through the process of purchasing a $5 droplet and setting it up properly for the development environment that you need to build your Python application. It's setting up the SSH keys and all the things you need to get your droplet. Because I got a comment the last time when I made the video because somebody wanted to understand the environment I was working from and how to get to it. This is the video that will take you from nothing to a working environment inside of a Linux machine where you can set up your droplet for building. Once you've done that, this last video I did last week, okay, step-by-step -step guide part one. I think it also sets up your your, your developed environment for a Django application. So once you've, you've set up this, you might want to build a Django, but you don't need this video really. Once you've done that, you can come back to the documentation and then you can start from here because this one assumes you already have a, a, a droplet that is working. So once you have a, a drop, a working droplet, brand new working droplet, then you can come to this documentation here and then you can start uh, run this command, install Python um, and all the Postgres SQL, the database we're going to be working with, you know, log into the Postgres SQL, create a new database and user and all those things. Then you're going to install Django. Then you're going to install your environment, your, you know, your virtual environment. Then you're going to install um, Psycoc 2, which works with the database and all of that. And then after that, you're going to see your, you know, your, 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 you know, your project. Um, and then you're going to make some updates to the database. And then after that, you're going to run migrations and then you're going to create a super user and then you're going to push your, your collect static. You know, sometimes it's good to be able to go through documentation and I've gone through the documentation many, many times and it's 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 accurate if you can get your virtual environment and follow the steps to create just a blank django application right and then next week when we when we catch up we will now uh build what we've done here inside of that django application right so um i will have created my own blank django application maybe i'll do it with you guys on camera but i'd like you to try and do it yourself especially if you're new but i'm assuming most of the guys watching my videos know exactly how to do this so go and do this uh play around with your whatsapp api to send messages to yourself make sure you enter your number there as a phone number that can accept messages and the next week when we come back we're gonna now continue from there we're gonna go on to now running this inside of a python 
Django, then we're going to build our webhook. Um, we're going to deploy our application so that we can build our webhook in HTTPS so we can actually receive messages. So I'll take you through the process of receiving and sending messages and stuff like that. And then after that, we can actually start working on building the actual WhatsApp application with the open AI, um, you know, link, because what we want is to uh, be able to get prompts from the users and take those prompts into building an actual business plan that we then, you know, serve back to the user, um, you know, in a PDF document. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Like guys, I'm excited about this project. Let me know if you are also excited about this and, um, you know, you're going to learn a lot. Uh, that's for sure. Okay. So see you guys again uh, next week.